For the first time in Minecraft's history, my armor can look different from yours. There are now 160 unique designs for netherite armor alone. Not to mention, the same applies for diamond armor, gold armor, iron armor, all the way down to leather armor. Also, these two. In fact, according to this random person on Reddit, there are three undecillion unique combinations of armor. I have no idea if this is true, but today I'm going to get the dumbest set of armor imaginable and put Curse of Binding in it. Hello, hi, uh, I don't really know where to begin here, considering that in the last episode I thought I was going to have to delete this world, I wasn't really planning on what to do next. But it's fine, I have ideas. All I know is that it's going to be lots of fun, but first things first, I think we need a change of scenery. Let's take a good look at these surroundings because it's the last time we're gonna be seeing them for a bit. Look, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't ready for some change in this world. But don't worry, I had a plan. After I collect obsidian, because I forgot that. I mean, okay, well, here's one piece. That's a that's a start, I guess. Two pieces. Three, four, five, six, six seven, eight, eight nine, nine, eleven, 12, and fourteen. Okay, now I have just over four stacks of rockets, and I'm going to fly in this direction until I run out, and that's where we're gonna end up. All the way out to right about here. Negative 13,800. Okay, uh, this is way overkill, but you know what? It's the thought that counts. Well, uh, here goes nothing. And I'm in a cave. Why does this always happen to me? And there's already a zombie spawner. Are you actually kidding me? Oh my god, all this loot. I'm not gonna take it. I'm not gonna take it. That defeats the whole purpose of this. Well, just to prove a point, I'm gonna go ahead and break this, and I guess we gotta find our way out of here now. The challenge hasn't started yet. This isn't supposed to be how this goes, dude. I surfaced in the middle of an ocean, but quickly found the nearest landmass. After traveling by foot for a while, I stumbled across a lava pool. I hereby call this a new beginning, which believe it or not, is the first important step of this new journey. Out with the old and in with the new, baby. Oh yeah, we're starting over. Oh, that's so anticlimactic. The netherite doesn't even burn, dude. What the heck? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I plan for this. Out with the old and in with the new. I cannot believe this is what I have to do to destroy my armor. I will, however, keep my wings in this shulker box, which I will place somewhere special and I won't access them for a while. Let the adventure begin, baby. Okay, but for real though, where is the iron at? I need some equipment. The first stone pickaxe of the new season. It's too bad I don't get any advancements for that though. Kind of makes me sad, not gonna lie. Sorry cows, but I still gotta eat. Wait a second, what is this? Is this what I think it is? Is this suspicious gravel? This is a trail ruin, you guys. All right, hang on though, I, I can't get distracted. I need to find a better place to live right now. Here's a fun fact. It's been 560 real life days since I had stone tools in this Minecraft world. And just like the last time, the first thing I did was look for a village. <laughs> a leather helmet? Nice. Question, does this make him mad at me? Oh, yes, it does. Oh, yes, it does. <laughs> but that's okay, because we have our first iron pickaxe. Wow. Also, I'm making a shield, because I am scared. But just as fast as I entered the village, I was soon leaving. All right, guys, thanks for your hospitality, but I must be on my way. Ooh, okay, this is a mountain biome, it looks like. This could be promising. I think this is what we want here. I traveled 110,000 blocks away from the snow to find more snow. Bruh. All right, I'm gonna take a risk here. I'm gonna go up and over the mountain, as opposed to around it. I just have a good feeling about this. This is really dumb. Why am I doing this? Oh, it's fine. Okay. We're good. Look, man, I just want to find a new biome. I don't care if it's the cherry blossom. I don't care if it's a jungle with the bamboo. I just want a new place to live. Yes. Oh my God. I see it. And there's a village. Oh, this is actually perfect. Oh, this house has what I need. This is a smithing table. Okay. Good to know. Round two of things that I should not be doing in this world. Dude, I love these. Are they like little flower petals? Pink petals. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Dude, these trees are so stinking cute. I honestly, I can't even handle it. Well, I, I guess this is the new home. We might as well get settle in a little bit. I showed my appreciation to the beautiful new biome the only way I really knew how, by immediately changing what it looked like. Yeah, I think like right here should be a good spot for a little house. I didn't plan to spend my entire afternoon building this house, but I spent my entire afternoon building this house. I kind of like it though. It definitely fits in the vibe of the area, that's for sure. I think it's time that we get some better gear on our hands. Wait a second, dude. This village is scamming me. There isn't a single crop field. There's not even hay bales. Oh, that really slows things down a fair bit. Without crop fields to work with, I had to go find crops a different way, introducing shipwrecks. Now in theory, if I can just find a single potato and a single carrot, we can pretty much execute 
execute my plan. Okay, we found one. There's a chance this is a really smooth process. Ooh, wait, armor trims. Okay, and potatoes. No carrots, but we have two of the new armor trims. That's actually really good. Just gotta find one more and we'll be back on our way. Come on now, show me the carrots. Dang it, no carrots. Two more armor trims. Okay, this is getting redundant. I have four of the same ones now. I don't even know what the point of that is. What on earth is this? It looks like two shipwrecks spawned inside of one another. I think this actually is what happened. And we got carrots. On the way home, I got to witness a dolphin show. Whoa, what a big jump. Holy cow, dude. And take a nap at the bottom of the ocean, which is honestly a sentence I never thought I would ever say. Now, I'm gonna have to go into the nether to get some things for this really dumb armor. I could just like go mining for everything that I need, but that's kind of boring. I think instead we'll go ahead and use these guys to get geared up a little bit. I've actually never really done it this way before, so I don't know how long it'll take. First order of business, we need a better way to get emeralds. Actually, we just need a way to get emeralds. I have zero ways of getting emeralds right now. I promise it'll be bigger. This is just all that I have right now. We'll have a potato farm as well, of course. And finally, a wheat field. My only goal for the next hour is to farm as many crops as I possibly can. Look at him, he's just inspecting the bamboo. He's like, what is this weird thing you've planted in my community? Such a curious fellow he is. Just like that, our bamboo farm got eight times the size. With some farms now built, I took a moment to do some pretty important math. While I'm thinking of it, we should probably do a head count on villagers. How many do I even have? Okay, we have one, uh, two, three, and four. Okay, so we do have enough technically, but if there's one thing I've learned is that villagers can and will find a way to kill themselves. In fact, while I have you guys over here, I think now would be a good time to get a couple of you uh, locked away forever. Come with me. I have to like hoe the ground and then jump on the farmland to make it back into regular dirt just to be able to row a boat across this terrain. This is the silliest thing I have ever done, but that's okay because we finally have these two. I know I'm so supposed to be farming technically, but I mean, villager breeders are kind of like a farm, right? Speaking of a farm, exciting news back at the wheat field. I've officially made my first piece of bread and I'm still hungry, so I better keep farming. Ooh, our first carrots grew in too. This is exciting, you guys. We're making expansions. You don't really think about it like this, but if you hang out in a village long enough, you kind of have like an early game semi-auto iron farm. I mean, it's very slow, but it gets the job done. POV, <laughs> you're getting killed in a hole by this melon man. It's me, I'm the melon man. I guess what we can do is like start a tally of how many iron golems I've killed. This is like a data pack I got. It's really dumb, but I think it's kind of funny. It's been zero days since an iron golem was killed. Officially been one day, two days, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Zero days. I don't know why I'm spending so much time digging out this hallway when in reality it's just gonna be like a villager breeder. I guess I just kind of feel bad that they're gonna be trapped in here forever. So I wanna make this into a cool little pad. There really isn't much to say here. I'm just digging a big hole, but I do wanna say that the new bamboo blocks are so freaking cool, dude. Just look at these things. All right, it's not quite done in here, but I think we're ready to, to bring you two bad boys along for the ride. Come on in, guys. There's one, there's number two, bed, bed, bed. Bed, 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 and bed. There's six of them. Bye, have fun. Love you guys. The first hour of farming was over, and one thing was clear. This was not going to be as easy as I initially thought. The main holdup is still these crop fields. Without crops, I can't breed villagers. Without villagers, I can't trade things. So yeah, you get the point. New goal for hour number two is decoration. I think I can handle that. All right, we now have four people in the dungeon. I mean, I mean the basement of fun, but that's enough fooling around. I want grandkids. All right, I, I guess they're sleepy. We'll try again tomorrow. Quick little crop field check-in. I have now decided to double the size of everything. So more crops later, I guess, but also no crops now. We are so close to having the farms filled in. Oh my God, this is taking like two and a half hours and I haven't even traded anything yet, dude. I've just been sitting here waiting for my crops to grow in. Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna go Go ahead and cut to right here. So I basically spent the last five hours farming my life away. I got a little carried away. So I doubled the size of the crop fields. I also made these into rows of carrots and potatoes. I don't know, I read somewhere that it makes it faster. I have no idea if that's true. Been absolutely grinding away on these pumpkins. Bamboo up the wazoo. Oh, my sword just broke, okay. Tons of sugar cane. I have cows and I have sheep. 
and these guys are ready to breed. We'll just go ahead here and do one final collection of the crops, which I will happily give to you guys. Oh yeah. Come on now. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> that took way longer than it should have, but we finally are repopulating the village. First off, I know I want to have two farmers. We'll put one here and we'll put one here. All right, there's one guy locked in and there's another guy locked in. And now we have to just level these guys up. To get tons of XP, I'm going to have to trade more than just crops though. So I've been thinking of ways to farm iron without really actually farming iron. And I think this is the, the best way that I've come up with yet. So it involves a snowball, which is going to make him really mad at me. And then, and then very carefully, I find the sweet spot and I just ax him away. At this point, I was going down a rabbit hole trying to optimize my not iron iron farm by spawn proofing large areas with buttons to control where the golems can spawn. Oh, they can spawn on the stairs. Okay, good to know. This is so janky. I really don't like doing it this way. I saw all kinds of weird stuff while trying to get this to work. Like this guy who spawned half inside the ground. Hey, bud. Or this zombie wearing a spider head. <laughs> what is homeboy doing? What are you doing, dude? You sick monster. Oh, it's working. Oh my God. Dare I say it's gonna happen. It happened. Oh my god, we actually have an iron farm. Can I even call this an iron farm? Back in Farmville, still working on that name. Despite having spent hours doubling the size of my farms and waiting for them to grow in, it was still severely lacking. So the main issue right now is that while all my farms are really quick to harvest, they take a long time to grow back in. I'm gonna need some renewability if I want this to actually work. And one of the better trades is actually this iron ingot trade. Four of them for one emerald. That's a pretty good deal. And as much as it pains me to say, my current iron farm is not really getting the job done dude you're gonna get yourself killed oh my oh my god yeah we gotta do something about that from this day forward i vow to slay zero more iron golems by hand that is because we are gonna make an iron farm and you're probably thinking brock this is like an unreasonable amount of work to be doing just to not have to go mining for diamond armor and to that i say uh yeah you're you're right If there's anything the first half of this video taught you, it should be that I don't know anything about iron farm mechanics. So if you're curious about how this thing works, you should just go watch ENX04's video. It's really good. Just like that, the farm is basically ready for use. I just gotta wait for nighttime and we can get the villagers and zombie loaded in here. Oh, guys, guys, your beds are this way. Yeah, there we go. Where where are you going? C get back here. And there we go. Yeah, oh, yep, we, we have an iron farm. Immediately though, I realized I forgot to spawn proof the area. Oh crap. We'll just like bring you this way and like tie you to a tree or something. I don't know. Not a very humane way to live, but it's better than being dead. Maybe I guess. Huzzah. It works. Let's go, baby. Welcome to murder a story by me. So I boxed myself in this house to AFK while eating dinner and then completely fell asleep. Now in the morning, I returned to go check on the iron farm to see that my villagers have died and the farm had barely even ran. Good news is that we still have a fair bit of iron to trade and we can fix the farm pretty easily yes it's working okay and it should be like unbreakable now virtually back in the village now i was putting all of that iron to good use diamond armor yes diamond tools oh my goodness we will do diamond boots diamond pants diamond chest plate and diamond helmet wait 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 you're probably thinking brock how is this the dumbest armor in minecraft and the answer is it's not but don't worry i will get that later so i think we're about ready to head into the nether because you see i need to get netherite now i think in honor of uh doing things a bit differently. We're gonna use beds to get ancient debris, which is something I have never done before, but honestly, sounds kind of fun. The main thing I'm after right now is honestly just lava. I need obsidian to make this nether portal and I don't have any on the surface. Oh my God, there are so, so many creepers here. How many, wait, how many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, you know, I said I wasn't gonna craft any tools. I don't think you can actually get a diamond hoe from villagers. So I will make one exception and we'll make one of these bad boys because that will come in handy in the deep dark. Apparently we're entering the deep dark now. It looks like this just kind of dead ends though. I'm like pretty sure I'm just going in a circle right now, but I, I can't confirm that. Yes, yes, I found some. Honestly, I'm kind of on a time crunch right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead here and like channel my inner speedrunner, and we're gonna make the portal right here. Why not? Please work, please work, please work. Okay, we're good, we're good. There's a 
fortress out here? Oh my god. Honestly, not a bad thing. Just a little bit dangerous. It also wouldn't be a bad idea to grab some gold. I think gold armor might just save me. I have a feeling I'm like literally digging through a lava lake. This is this might get ugly, you guys. Okay, so we're on level 15. But I think the way this works is I basically just take a bed. I dig as far one way as I can. And then I place the bed. And yeah, there we go. Lava is burning everything, but we have made a big hole. That's what's important. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna say that there, there's no ancient debris in here. It's not even worth my time. I would probably die before I found anything in there. Bed number two, more lava. One piece, two, explosion number three, and I see more. Let's go, baby, we're cooking. Three pieces, four, Number five, there's at least one piece buried away up here, but I can't get to it because the lava is just everywhere. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on. I have an idea. I need to find a piglin because if you didn't know, piglins can trade you fire resistance potions, which would honestly come in huge right now. I spent the next 30 minutes gathering as much gold as I could get my grubby melon hands on until this gas just destroyed all of it. No, no, I need you alive. I need you alive to trade. All of my gold just burnt. Oh, that, that is tough. That is extremely painful to see. Can you guys stop killing yourselves, please, and just trade me gold? How's that sound? Finally, we got one. We now are fire immune for at least three minutes. Oh, we got two of them. That's actually perfect. All right, I have six minutes of fire immunity. Let's make this count. Yes, we got it. That was a lot of work for one piece of ancient debris. I don't know if that was worth it. I don't know if this method is really worth it. Like it gets you ancient debris, obviously, but like the amount of effort it requires and focus is like way higher than I would like. But that's piece number eight. So we are halfway there. 45 minutes of forgetting to record later. I was now at 14 pieces. So just two more left. As you can see, there's just been stupid amounts of lava. I honestly can't even get in here and see if there's an ancient debris. Dude, it's everywhere. What do I do? Where do I go? Like this is so annoying, man. Finally, yes, oh my god, I finally got it. 15 and 16. Honestly, I'm gonna leave that one there because having 17 pieces will do me no good. Honestly, I'm just gonna leave a path of nether brick over this way, which hopefully will just like lead me back to the portal area. So there's just a couple of more things that I need to do. Step one, I need to breed more cows. The armor is gonna be dumb, but I will need an enchantment table for it. Speaking of enchantment table, I'm going to need some more obsidian for that. Now, considering I can't find lava for the life of me, we'll just put some right here and hopefully we can just mine all this away. Conveniently, I will also need two more diamonds, which isn't a problem. I will also need some more lapis for the enchantment. Boom, boom, there we go. I guess for now, we'll just go ahead and put this right here in the middle of this field. Doesn't really matter where it goes. Now I need a good way to get rid of all these levels I have. You see, I'm about to do a lot of enchanting, but all of my levels are from before I started over. And I think that having a clean slate just makes sense. So I, I guess we just gotta go ahead and start. I just spent the last five minutes going through and renaming everything Pat. Uh, I'm sure there's at least one Pat watching, so if you are, uh, yeah, come get your stuff. Anywho, the last thing we're going to need before we can start this process is a Curse of Binding Villager. Now, I, I don't know how easy this is going to be to get. We will find out. Yes! Oh, we got it! 38. I need more emeralds, though. Okay, there we go. Don't you go changing on me. Curse of Binding, baby. Back in Iron Golem land, things were starting to get a little bit out of hand. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious, though. I love it. POV, you're a potato in my farm. Oh my gosh, you guys. I just realized a huge oversight in my plans. Once I put this armor on, I can't take it off. So I need to get mending ASAP. Who would like to be a mending villager? Would you like to be a mending villager? No, you would not. Get out of here. What about you, my friend? Wham, bam, thank you, my good sir. Make that two mending books, number three, and number four. And I will combine these two books together. This is the silliest thing I have ever done. And finally, we need to make a full set of leather armor. And there's actually a few more steps than you normally would encounter while making armor. So I'll go ahead and show you what to do. Step one, you're going to enchant your leather armor with level 30 max enchantments. 
Wow, what? Just unbreaking? Oh, that's so bad. Okay, cool. Protection for thorns too. It's like way worse than I ever imagined it would be. This is the part of the video where I thought I would show you a simple three-step process of how to make this dumb armor. But that was before the game decided to give me the worst enchantments imaginable. Look, dude, my armor may be stupid, but I still have class. I needed a new plan. In case you didn't know, leather armor really sucks. Like, it's really bad. In fact, it's so bad that I had to make an extensive list of all of the enchantments that I still need. The problem is that I'm waiting for these guys to grow up, to give me librarians, to give me the books, so we're kind of at a stopping point. At least that's what I thought. And then I remembered, oh my god, swift sneak. You can't get swift sneak from anything but the deep dark. Okay, so I'm back in this deep dark area. I'm hoping that it actually does lead into an ancient city. Ooh, it opens up, it looks like. All right, we're here. The goal is to get in, get swift sneak, maybe a couple of god apples, and get out. We got it right away, first chest. Oh, there's one. There's number two. Yeah, I'm out of here. Swift sneak three is ours. Four more books and I can get the worst armor in the game. Oh, protection three. Ooh, do I take it? Doing it. I'm gonna take it. This might bite me in the butt, but I think we'll be okay. Anybody working today? What are we up to, guys? Because I see an open workstation and no one has claimed it. I've literally been doing this for 40 minutes and I'm running out of hard drive space. So I'll be back when I have Unbreaking 3, Respiration 3, and Feather Falling 3. I would say Feather Falling 4, but I've been at this for over an hour and I need to eat dinner. Finally, we can combine all of the books and get the armor made. We'll start here with the boots because those seem like the most expensive ones. 28 levels for the Boots? I hope those are the most expensive ones. And finally, I have the worst boots in Minecraft. Now to do that three more times. Considering that I still need a ton of XP and I'm waiting for my crops to grow in before I can trade more with these Nimrods, we're gonna need a better plan. With just a couple of improvements, we can greatly increase how much XP we get from our villagers. Firstly, we're gonna need a lot more gold, some nether war, some blaze rods, some brown mushrooms. So somehow we need to find a way to separate these emerald makers of ours. Maybe we'll move them like this way. There's two ways to get more XP from villagers. You can get more things to trade or you can lower the price per trade. We're gonna do the second one. Take the crop fields, for example. One field is 18 by nine, AKA 162 tiles. Assuming you get four crops per harvest, which by the way is generous, you get just shy of 650. Minus the 162 to replant, you are left with 486 crops. Divide that by 22 crops per emerald trade, and you learn that one of these fields is worth a whopping 22 emeralds. Yeah, we're gonna have to improve that. Boom. That's one, that's two, and three. The plan was simple. Step one, dig a staircase to the surface. Step two, find a zombie. Oh, I see one. He has a helmet on too. What? No! No, my farm! Hey, come here. I need you. I need you. Follow me in, buddy. Follow me in. This is gonna be bad. No, they're leaving! They're leaving! <laughs> they're leaving! Everything's fine. We need a better plan. Step three. Rebuild the staircase, but better. Okay, new tactic. We're gonna drop in from above. All right, when sun sets, we ride, boys. Got some people you'd like to meet. Yes, there we go. I think if we go down here, he should be having a field day. All right, you've done your job. Proud of you. Thank you. Bam, bam, you're welcome, you'll thank me later. Okay, a little bit cheaper. We can do better than that. Come on in, pal. You know the drill. Thank you. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you. Boom, boom. And finally, one last time. <laughs> He's wearing an iron column head. Get in there, you big bully. Cheap iron coming our way. I'm pretty sure my crop fields just got literally 22 times more effective, so that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, dude, I barely even use anything now. Okay, there we go, the pants are done. I spent the next hour or so grinding levels and re-rolling book trades to get the remaining enchantments. And despite a few hiccups, things were finally coming together. Ooh, I forgot Depth Strider on my boots. Oh, are we screwed? 37 levels? Oh, that was a huge oversight. Okay, 37 levels later, we finally have Depth Strider. Okay, so slight problem. Uh, 
I can't put Curse of Binding on my chest plate. Well, I could. I could do that, but that would be very dumb. See, if I do that, I will never be able to fly. And that would really suck. So as much as it pains me, I'm gonna make a new one. I need 12 levels. Come on, boys. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Level 12. We got it. Let's go. I can't wait. I'm actually like shaking with excitement right now, you guys. Boom, boom, bam. Oh, the anvil broke too. How perfect. There is the armor. There's just a couple more steps. Firstly, we must apply armor trims. And you know I had to go with the netherite upgrade just for the flex. Boom and boom. And finally, just to make this armor look more like netherite, we'll do a purple dye and a black dye. Now that's about as close as I could figure out how to get it. And with that, my friends, we now have the stupidest armor in Minecraft history. I'm probably gonna die soon, but at least I can walk on powdered snow. That's literally it. That's the only advantage.